What is up, you guys? It is Mason, known as, uh, well, freaking Mason on the LBP Union Discord. And I'm going to just do a quick tutorial for those struggling with RPCS3 emulation and stuff. So here's the first part about this. You have to be in the Union Space Corps to do this. If you somehow got access to this video, I don't know how. I don't know who's sharing it to you, but this really should not be happening. Anyways, um, let's get started. So with RPCS3, you need the patched RPCS3. You can get either the Linux version or the Windows version in the Discord. It's in the pinned messages. I'll probably toss them in the description below or something. But when you download them, all you have to do is just go to your RPCS3 directory, take all these, drag and drop them into it, and overwrite pretty much anything that it asks for. Anyways, this step's done. Now we're going to get into the next step. I'm connected to a VPN for this tutorial. That way I can demonstrate that this should work. Blah, blah, blah. Authentication attempt. Deny. We don't need that right now. But here's the next part. Go to your Lighthouse username, copy that. Big, big step. Then open up RPCS3. This is to verify that your RPC and account is the same as the Union account. You can just paste them into there. And in case anything is different, then you'll just have to create a new account, send it to a different email, get your token, call it a day, then save that. And for our next part, since we're using Little Big Planet 2 for this tutorial, just follow along with me. Go to your game configuration, go to network, set the network status to connected, set the PSN status to RPCN. DNS could be the four eights, but they recommend to use 0.0.0.0. .0, so I would recommend going along with this. If this DNS doesn't work, go back to the default, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 Anyways, this part's done. Now we're going to go to our utilities tab, go to decrypt PS3 binaries. You're going to look for your game directory. Since I'm on Little Big Planet 2, we'll go to this folder. We're going to go to the eboot.bin. We're going to press open. It's decrypted now. I don't have the pop ups enabled. You probably do on this case, but that's done. Then we're going to open up Union Patcher. And if you're on Linux, you'll use the Linux version of this. If you're on Windows, you'll use the Windows version of this. I think they have a Linux version. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, we're going to open up the GUI, and we're going to go to Browse. We're going to go to our Little Big Planet 2 directory, and we're going to go to the newly decrypted eboo.elf server URLs. We have the URLs for Little Big Planet 1 and 2, and then Little Big Planet 3 and Vita. Vita can also use the 1 and 2, but it's recommended to use the secured proxy. However, since we're on Little Big Planet 2, we're going to copy this one. We're going to paste into our server URL. Then for our output file name, we're going to browse back to our directory. We can just click the eboot.elf. There's no need to name it in there, really. You just add Lighthouse in between the .elf extension and eboot. Call it a day, press save, then press patch. Now you're done. We don't need union patch anymore, so we can close it. The next part of this tutorial is optional, but I have heard this has worked for many people who have done it. What we're going to do is re-sign our eboot.elf into a new .bin. So what we're going to do is go back to our little plant 2 directory. We can rename the eboot.bin to eboot-old.bin. This way you still have a backup just in case. Then we're going to copy our eboot.lighthouse.elf. We're going to paste it into here. Now with this, we're also going to have to remove the .lighthouse extension. Then you're going to open up Resigner. And you're going to look for the Resign to non-DRM eboot. It's literally number two. You just put number two, press enter, press any key to continue, and you're done. Now you have the eboot.bin. You can paste this into here. I would recommend this part if you cannot connect to the servers any other way. You're pretty much done with everything now. You'll just go to boot self slash elf, and you're just going to go to the bin if you've chosen this method. Otherwise, it'd just be the eboot.lighthouse.elf. But we can open up the bin and let it do its thing. If this is your first time connecting to the Lighthouse private servers, you will be popped up with an end of user license agreement that you just got to agree to. Otherwise, you won't see that pop up. Now, you won't be presented with a greeting screen or anything. You'll be presented with a 403 error if this is your first time connecting. In order to fix this, you just go to your Lighthouse, and it'll have an authentication request. I'm using a VPN, so I could care less if you guys have this IP or not. You'll press Approve always, but since I'm on VPN, I'm just going to prove it this one time. You're going to go back into Little Big Planet now. You'll notice you're still not connected to servers. In order to fix this, just go to your pod controller, go into Community, and go to online. You'll be greeted with the announcement screen saying that, hey, 
you've successfully connected, blah, 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 blah. You press OK. It'll connect to Little Big Planet 2 online or whichever other version you're using, and it should just work straightforward from here. So uh, that's about it. That's how you connect to Lighthouse on um, RPCS3. And uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped people out. If not, I'll try to get in contact with developers and fix things up. Not fix things up, but just help debug and stuff. And uh, yeah.